I've done 11 different advent calendar price breakdown videos this year so far and I realized that I wasn't very enthusiastic about this year's advent calendars and I was wondering whether this was all about me being you know in a not very good place or something else or you know me having reached a saturation point or something or whether it was something else so I decided to go through every single advent calendar review unboxing that I have done both on my channel as well as on my blog and there are certain trends that I noticed and this video is all about that so I thought I'd talk to you a lot about this and see if you agree see if you noticed the same things as well the first thing I've noticed is that there are absolutely more minis fewer full sizes in this year's advent calendars this is not an exaggeration uh, 2015 was the first year I bought an advent calendar it was from Look Fantastic that year there was just the Look Fantastic uh, 24 to 25 day advent calendar and the Feel Unique 12 day one not much else the following year was more or less the same as well it was in 2017 that more and more brands started uh, releasing advent calendars so let's look at 2017 um, I will link all my unboxings in the description box below so you can see for yourself that I'm not you know exaggerating right 2017 Harrods eight full sizes 2020 four or five if you count your discovery sizes full size right four or five so half the number of full sizes that they had three years ago look fantastic 11 full sizes that was the gorgeous Alice in Wonderland packaging that year right 11 full sizes this year eight and mind you they did not have lord and berry they did not have ico they did not have evelon they did not have the nas mini orgasm of blush they did not have mane and tail that year I, they did have the queen of hungary mist limited edition from overall pizza and the first aid beauty ultra pack cream but you know none of those this year's usual suspects now let's take feel unique 2017 that was actually a 12 day advent calendar not a 24 day advent calendar uh, and here of these 12 doors drawers boxes six were full-sized six were full-sized so half the number of full sizes this year's feel unique advent calendar eight full sizes in this year's 25 day advent calendar these included in 2017 that is a rimmel palette a nyx uh lip cream Invisi Bob, let's what none of those usual suspects again. No Eve Long Cleanser, no Morovitsa Mist, no Nasmini Orgasm Blush, no Lord and Berry, uh, not even the First Aid Beauty Ultra or Pack Cream. Somebody recently commented uh, on my Yes Time video and said that this was possibly because brands were buying minis in bulk, right? Retail, retailers were buying minis in bulk, uh, and in order to maximize profit, they were filling. A number of drawers drawers with these and um, palming them off on us now I don't know how far that is true but if that is the case then it is very very sad indeed to see few uh, fewer full sizes and more minis uh, I feel that we shouldn't be paying for minis because minis are gifts with purchase you go to the Clarence counter or restaurant or whatever and buy something and uh, you know they generally give you a few samples to take home so minis are GWPs, gifts with purchase. I will not ever count the value of minis for anything. The gifts with purchase. You shouldn't pay for minis. Pay for full sizes. Now in an advent calendar, I'm not saying everything should be full size. Definitely not. The value of the advent calendar must be in the full sizes, not in the minis. So never calculate the value of minis when you are calculating the value of an advent calendar. Yeah, I mean it is doable because Yes Style, for instance, is giving us 24 full size products uh, in their advent calendar, and the good thing about that is that when you have about three or four products that you can't use, you're still getting another 20 full-sized products that you can use whereas you know if there are eight full-sized products in an advent calendar and you can't use about two or three that's you know you're getting about five full-sized products in a whole advent calendar that you can use it doesn't make sense at all so you know more full sizes will help you know make us buy an advent calendar that's what i'm saying the next trend discovery and mini sizes are being passed off as full sizes let me explain this thing let's presume that these two are from the same brand this is the ordinary and this is oil of legs let's presume they're from the same brand for now this is 240 mils let's presume that this is 
uh, 40 so one six yeah and i said that this costs 60 pounds now when you buy this generally they give you this as a compliment or it comes in a goodie bag with you know i don't know count beauty or space and or something they're manufactured with the intention of being given as compliments for promotional purposes sample not for sale so it should never be called a full size now even if it is a discovery size and it does retail at 10 quid we shouldn't call it a full size full size is this this is 240 mils this is full size not this so this year for some reason brands are passing off minis and discovery sizes as full-sized products we've seen this in a number of advent calendar price breakdown videos that i myself have done um one of the very luxurious advent calendar price breakdown videos that i did early on this year they said they had 19 full-size products i took a look and in my price breakdown video i found that there weren't 19 because some of those were actually standalone retail prices of discovery sizes or travel sizes being sold they were not the full size and what brands are doing is they're calculating the proportionate value of the mini or the the sample size that is you know if something is 100 mils and costs 10 pounds they're calculating the cost of each mill and then telling you that that 10 mil sample costs one pound and then there are you know that's how they're increasing the value uh, claims of that advent calendar that's not how it works the third trend that i've noticed is that kind of outdated older launches are being palmed off on us this year in advent calendars for instance the becca shimmering skin perfecter and backlight priming filter those were huge in 2016 2017 this year you're seeing them in advent calendars you're seeing huda precious stone obsessions in advent calendars those launched back in 2018 after that she's launched nude obsessions and uh, neon obsessions and pastel obsessions but you know we're seeing the first ever obsessions as precious stones uh, being palmed off on us this year feel unique sent out huda beauty uh precious stone obsessions in topaz this year they're sending out ruby we're seeing nude sticks which was huge the lip and cheek pencils which were 2016 2017 again they those are in advent calendars this year so kind of outdated older launches are now in advent calendars older stuff that is possibly lying around unsold i'm not saying expired i'm saying older launches instead of more recent more current trending products the next trend product repetitions in the 2017 uh Feel Unique Advent Calendar. There were two repeats from previous year's Feel Unique Advent Calendars. Look fantastic. There was the one repeat. The Omorovitz, a queen of Hungary mist. This year, though, we're seeing so many Evlon cleansers. We're seeing so many Nars Mini Orgasm blushes, Nars Laguna blushes. We're seeing that this works pillows, <laughs> the Augustina Spada, the Rich Cream, and so on. So certain products, you know, being repeated over and over and over. The thing is, there are enough beauty products enough beauty brands to go around the equator a few times it, they don't have to repeat these things the whole point of advent calendars is for us to try new things to discover new things and to buy those new things if we like what we've tried it is not intended you know the purpose is not for us to keep on using the same old thing that we received over the last five or six years brands don't have to repeat anything in advent calendars for a very very long time there are enough brands out there there are enough new launches out there nothing needs to be repeated absolutely not i know there are some people who are new to advent calendars possibly buying their first advent calendar who've never tried this who are going to comment and say hey i've never used it just because you have doesn't mean you know i don't get to try it here's the thing brands can cater to both you and i they they can you know keep their old as well as new customers you know happy they don't have to repeat products that's a point so when it is possible not to send out repetitions there really is no need to send out the same pool of products year after year after year in advent calendars beauty boxes gifts with purchase over and over and over absolutely not the fifth trend that i've noticed this year is that packaging has become much 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 fancier more festive the first ever look fantastic advent calendar 2015 was more uh, functional than festive feel unique's packaging again you can see from my unboxing blog post back in the day very functional you know pretty but not you know oh my god the packaging is everything yes you know matter of fact packaging that's the word i'm looking for 
The shadow we seeing very, very, very fancy packaging. Number six, we're noticing non-beauty tribe, non-beauty pro products that don't necessarily, I mean, not makeup or skincare or bath and body or even hair care. We're seeing more and more such products. We're seeing toothpaste. We're seeing vitamin supplement, nutritional supplements. We're seeing lip scrubbing devices. We're seeing gua sha stones and massage oils and massage stones and facial rollers. We're seeing scrunchies and hair ties. We're seeing pillow sprays. We're seeing products that don't necessarily belong within the beauty niche. Don't keep sending us nutritional supplements in beauty advent calendars. Don't send us bloody gua sha stones, massage oils. No, not in beauty advent calendars. Thank you very much. Friend number seven, a lot of cheap shite that is marked up heavily. Facial rollers, gua sha stones. We're seeing 38 pound facial uh, gua sha stones. We're seeing 42 pound gua sha stones in advent calendars. And these are 10 quid or less than 10 quid in other places. You're just, you know, sending us a bloody stone and telling us it's 42 quid, 38 quid in value. I must also say that very, 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 very high value products are being included in advent calendars. Again, to push up that, you know, net worth claim that you're making. 30 mils of sodium hyaluronate priced at 235 pounds that most of us will probably never repurchase. In, in all likelihood, it is very, very unlikely that any of us will end up buying a full-size hyaluronic acid serum, right? £235 it is for 30 mils of sodium hyaluronate. It's to just send us two different uh, 40 quid or 30 quid serums full-size. See, I'm trying to help brands bring down the value here. Trend number eight, there are what I call lazy drawers or lazy doors. More of those we're seeing this year. In one drawer, you get one single pair of under eye patches you get one hair tie, you get one sheet mask. It's what I call lazy draw. Hey, we filled everything up, 22 uh, done out of 25. Now we've still got three drawers left. What do we do there? Just put in a bloody sheet mask and a pair of wonder eye patches, end of. That is what's happening this year. More and more lazy drawers, as I call them, or lazy doors. Trend number nine, fewer advent calendars are shipping worldwide this year. This has a lot to do with the pandemic because there are fewer flight parts, international flight parts. A number of countries have closed their borders altogether. There are fewer international carriers, postal services, a number of them have suspended services, even domestically, you know, are very, very slow. So possibly owing to all of this, there are fewer advent calendars that are shipping internationally this year, which is an absolute crying shame. But that is entirely because of the pandemic. Until last year, we didn't have as much of a problem. Uh, Fortnum and Mason, for instance, shipped worldwide last year. Yes, tiles shipped to more countries last year than they do this year. Trend number 10, prices have shot up. Look fantastic, 79 pounds last year, non-subscriber price, 85 this year. Cult Beauty, 195 last year, 199 this year. Net Aporte, 225 last year, 240 quid this year. Yes, Chai, $150 last year, $169 this year. You're going to say, oh, that's not a huge difference. I'm saying there is price increase. That's all that I'm saying. I'm not saying buy four times or something. Trend number 11, there are fewer exciting big ticket items this year. I'm, I'm not saying, you know, Barbara Stamps Hyaluronic Serum is a big ticket item. I'm saying exciting big ticket items. So you're going to tell me that we're all wearing face masks, so there's no need of makeup, yeah? Here's the thing. Nobody's wearing eyeshadow on their lips. I eye, eye makeup. Where's all the exciting eye makeup? And even in skincare, where are all the exciting new launches? You know, within skincare, where where's peptide serums? You know, where are all the anti-acne products? Because everybody's getting maskne. I know Yes Tile has uh, more anti-acne products, but you know, generally I'm seeing a lot of rinse-off masks and very very high-end hyaluronic acid and very very high-end random night creams. That's what I'm seeing. Where are my repair products? The ceramides, you know, exciting new ingredients, tranexamic acid, tetrahexyl TDA, I think it's called. Yeah, I, couldn't, I can't, I'm, I'm not a chemist here. So where are all those exciting new skincare launches? 
be seeing the same old things, you know, year after year, the Ren A shade toner, the, the, the tonic, which again, you know, has been around for the last two years. What customers are buying has definitely changed. I mean, many of us are not buying, buying foundations now. More of us are buying skin care now. More of us are not, many of us are not buying lipstick now. So that's all changed and advent calendar sellers could sort of notice these trends and, you know, have planned their advent calendars accordingly. For instance, you know, only one advent calendar has included a full-sized hand wash, space and game, because everybody's washing their hands. Where are the hand washes? You know, so I think that less attention has been paid to what's going on and, you know, more attention has been paid to profit maximizing at minimal effort. That's what's happening this year. And this isn't about, you know, me being nitpicky. It is about, it, it is there. I have tried to offer you solid evidence for my claims, you know, here. I mean, it would have been wonderful if somebody had decided to include one of those, you know, slip silk masks instead of a scrunchie. I know that it's not strictly beauty, but nor is a hair tie strictly beauty. So you might as well, you know, have sent out one of those slip silk uh, face masks instead it would have been very oh you're paying attention to what's going on good thank you and you know instead of a bloody hair tie and knowing that more and more customers are buying hand creams and hand lotions and hand uh, sanitizers and hand washes and uh, facial masks and things like that it would have been more timely to send us those products products along those lines. I find that there are very, 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 very few hand creams in this year's advent calendars. One or two advent calendars so far among my price breakdown videos so far have done, uh, have included a by Rido hand cream, full sized. Instead of, you know, sending us stupid things like nutritional supplements and terribly stupid things like that deep sleep pillow spray, that would have been timely. So I feel that brands have been a bit tone deaf this year compared to previous years, because until last year, you can go through my unboxings last year, and I was not ranting about these advert calendars. I was happy with them. I calculated the full sizes of the products that I would have used. The value was still there, definitely there. I did point out a few advert calendar repeats, Eve Long Cleanser, Morovica, uh, Mist, and um, Nars Mini Orgasm Blush, and so on. I did point them out even in, say, last year's Space and Cadment calendar and so on. But, you know, generally, and I did tell you when, you know, there was very little value. I did tell you, right, Harrods, for instance, last year I told you. But uh, overall, you know, I feel that this year definitely there is a huge drop in quality. Nor are we seeing any vouchers. Macy's, for my American friends, has an advent calendar with a $10 voucher. Apart from that, where are the gift vouchers? Last year's Cult Beauty advent calendar had a very generous 25 pound voucher that you could use until this june this year where are the vouchers absolutely nothing do you agree with these 12 trends that i've noticed there is a drastic change compared to the quality last year why do you think this is happening is it because of the pandemic or is it something else do you think is it just bloody greed do you think do tell me all of that in the comments below and then we'll discuss it. <laughs> That's all from me for today. Thank you for watching this video. Please do give me a thumbs up. Please hit the subscribe button. Please do ring the notifications bell. I'll speak to you soon.